The rest of the test went on as usual. I was able to snag a few more points before the exam ended. I have no idea whether or not I did well enough to pass, but there is nothing I can do now but wait. Of course, waiting is very hard when something as important as your future is on the line. It's been two weeks since the exam and the acceptance letters should be coming any day now. I got up and I checked the mailbox and to my shock there it was, a regular looking sealed envelope. But there was no mistaking that UA seal, this was it. The start to my hero career was inside that envelope. I brought it upstairs and I put it on my desk. After staring at it for about a minute, I decided to just get it over with. I grabbed each corner of the envelope and in one swift motion opened it. Dear Mr. Gregory Heffley, while we appreciate the time and motivation you have put towards applying to UA, we regret to inform you that you will not be invited to attend the UA Hero course. You scored incredibly highly on the practical exam, enough to normally ensure your admission. However, we noted that you recklessly, and possibly intentionally, injured fellow examinee Mrs. Holly Hills, lightly in an effort to prevent her from gaining more points. These actions are frowned upon by UA, and we believe that they are not the actions of a future hero. With that being said, you are invited to attend the UA General Studies course. Though rare, it is possible for general studies students to be transferred into the hero course if they display incredible promise and skill. If you have proven without a doubt that you have the makings of a hero, not just physically but mentally as well, you will be on the top of our list to transfer. Thank you for your time. Roy Roy, Headmaster of UA High School. What? So many thoughts were running through my head. It wasn't my fault. I didn't get in. Holly Hill. No one said it was against the rules. Rowley. General studies scored incredibly high. The headmaster has the same first and last name. That was it. Rowley. Since he doesn't even have a court, there was no way he got in. He might have defeated that zero pointer, but the clues in the name, it's worth zero points. At least we could both be disappointed together. I started to walk over to Rowley's house. With each step, I felt some invisible hope that Mr. Roy from UA would pop out from behind a corner and tell me that I did get in after all and this was all, you know, a test. But my trip to Rowley's house was uneventful. I rang the doorbell. Greg, I got into the hero course. You must have gotten in too, right? Roy R. Roy, Quirk, Periscope. He can curve his vision by bending light as it approaches his eyes, allowing him to see around corners and behind obstacles. While it doesn't have much application in heroics, it's very useful for spotting misbehaving students. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that Rowley, the kid who doesn't even have a quirk, got into UA and I didn't. Should have been the other way around. It's supposed to be the other way around. I headed straight home. It's not like there was anywhere else to go. But when I got home, mom was waiting for me. Mom somehow knew that I didn't get in. I guess she must have seen the paper in my room. I was expecting her to go off on some big lecture about perseverance and not giving up and all of that. All, all the other stuff she usually talks about, but instead... She just asked me one question. Greg, why do you want to be a hero? Why, I don't know. The same reason everyone else does, I guess. But before mom could answer, the doorbell rang. What are you doing here? Rowley asked if he could come in. I was still kind of mad, but he looked serious, so I decided to let him in. Greg, I need to tell you what happened. What are you talking about? One year ago during the villain attack. Susan Heffley, Quirk, Color Change. By changing the wavelengths that objects reflect, she can change the color of objects by making physical contact with them. The changes can be permanent, but she can revert them back at will. After school ended, Strong Steve came up to me. Young man, what's your name? Oh, uh, it's Rowley. Rowley, you have amazing potential. 
as a hero. While what you did was reckless, you clearly did it because your goal was to save others. In my days of heroics, if I've learned one thing, it's this. The power of your quirk will never be more important than your drive to help others. But I'm quirkless. I thought that would be the end of the conversation, but Steve just paused for a second. Well, I'd be a hypocrite to turn you down, right? If you're willing, I'll train you to the best of my ability. Young man, you too can become a hero. The Grout, Quirk, Grout. He can grow and control incredibly long, vine-like hair out of his body to create a much larger form. He can change the size and shape of his hair-like body at will. I trained with Strong Steve for the whole year. Every second that wasn't school or sleeping, that's what I did. He pushed me beyond my limits physically, but he also taught me so much about being a hero. I'm really grateful to him. Wait, so you still don't have a quirk? No, Greg, but I am going to become a hero. If I was angry before, now I was just confused. Rowley had been training with Strong Steve for an entire year? I guess that explained how he was able to get close to the robot and know where to hit it. But why Rowley? He's quirkless. Even being trained by the number one hero, there's only so much you can do without a power. If he had trained me instead, imagine how much more powerful I could be. After Rowley left, I headed back up to my room. I had made my decision without mom's help. I would sign up for general studies and prove to everyone, Rowley, Strong Steve, Headmaster Roy, that they had made the wrong choice by underestimating me. I would prove that I could be the greatest hero of all time, and then maybe Strong Steve would train me instead. Interesting, very interesting indeed. Well, this is it, my first day at UA, although it will be nothing like I hoped. Every time I look at that schedule, it's a reminder of where I could be. Instead of training to be a hero, I'll be doing nothing but regular schoolwork. As I walked towards the building, I suddenly noticed a crowd of people. It looked like they were all gathering around somebody. I walked over to get a closer look. Our responsibility as heroes is to train the next generation, which is why I will be serving as a teacher at UA this year. I couldn't believe it. Steve would be a teacher at UA. I got excited for a second, but before I realized, he would probably be a teacher for the hero course, as if Rowley didn't have enough of an unfair connection to strong Steve, now he would formally be teaching Rowley too. I still had no idea where to go, so I just wandered around the buildings, glancing at my schedule, until I found the right room. When I entered, I was greeted by some of my classmates who had already gotten there. I, it was clear just from looking at them that most of these kids were the same as me. They didn't get into the hero course and ended up here as a last resort. I took my seat behind some blonde kid and waited for class to start. We still had about 10 minutes, but the other students filed in one by one. By the time the bell rang, everyone was here. But there was still no sign from the teacher. Finally, the door opened and somebody walked in. Welcome to UA Class 1D. Start today, your teacher is me. Suddenly, my muscles tensed up. I tried to move, but it was like I had lost control of my body. I sat there motionless until it finally stopped. So, yeah, that's my quirk. And by the way, I'm your homeroom teacher. After that, the morning's classes went by as normal. I met some of my teachers, well, my new teachers, including the I am spooky guy I saw at orientation. It was mainly your usual first day stuff, going over classes and grading and all that. Most of my classmates were pretty ordinary looking, well, except for one guy whose quirk gave him the body of a tree. I, I even saw apples hanging off of his branches. Maybe I should become friends with this guy to have an instant snack way whenever I want. Eventually lunchtime rolled around. I was looking around for somewhere to sit when I noticed someone looking at me. It was Rowley. He was sitting with Holly and some other kids. 
I could have gone over to him, but I didn't need him and his new hero course friends rubbing it in for 45 minutes. I also noticed that Holly did not look happy to see me. I guess she hadn't told Rowley about what I did, but she definitely hadn't forgotten either. I ended up sitting next to a couple of the kids from my class. I wasn't really that interesting in getting to know people, but it was better than sitting alone. Christina! Quirk! Freeze dance! Anyone who hears her singing will be unable to move. They will be completely frozen until she takes a breath, at which point she will have to keep singing to reactivate her quirk. But my question be how old do she be though? Too old for you, that's for sure. Shut up, it could happen. No, it literally can't. Stop.